I'm Jessica, a developer advocate for Facebook open source. Typically on this channel, we discuss a lot of open source projects. However, today will be slightly different. We'll be talking about Bento, a project that's built off of an open source project called Jupyter and is now used internally at Facebook to help data scientists and machine learning engineers share code and collaborate interactively. So in this video, I'll be explaining Bento to you in an easy to understand way. Let's go. First off, what is Jupyter? Well, Jupyter Notebooks are an open source web tool that's commonly used by data scientists and machine learning engineers to run their analyses. So there are three special things about notebooks. First, they're interactive, which means that anyone, whether or not they're technical, can play around with the notebook and be able to see the outputs. Secondly, they're multimodal, which means that you can put code, charts, narrative texts, and web pages and widgets of almost any kind into one notebook. And finally, they're really easy to share. So there's several simple ways to give someone a hyperlink of your notebook, and they can see the story that you've created inside it. So while Jupyter is great at sharing code and documents and is widely used at Facebook, our team realized that there was a need to customize Jupyter to better integrate into Facebook's stack, as well as improve the authoring experience. Doing so could drastically improve the experience of using this tool, improve the code quality, and nudge users to best practices. So by authoring experiences, we mean adding in features that are common in most other IDEs, such as linters, formatters, and code completion. And integrating Bento directly into Facebook's stack means that it plays well with our data and internal tools. This provides strong privacy standards safeguarding our data analysis. And thus, in 2017, Bento was born. The name Bento refers to a Bento box because it brings in analytics and machine learning all together in a box. Notebooks have been a really great innovation, especially in the data science and machine learning community, to be able to rapidly write, iterate, and improve code. Improving the authoring experience by adding our new features improves productivity, quickly helps users catch and identify bugs or code issues, and in short, saves a developer sanity. As of 2020, there are almost 9,000 data developers using Bento a month at Facebook. Inside Facebook, Bento users are diverse. For example, non-technical roles can comment in notebooks to provide feedback. Machine learning scientists use it to test models for fairness. And threat investigators use it to manage records of their response work. As of the making of this video, Bento is not yet open sourced but our teams are exploring the possibility of doing so. Want more info on Bento? Check out this video from Tanya Ray, a PM at Facebook, for an overview of Bento. If you want to see more about Bento on this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.